Hello you guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys free no-sew crochet patterns that you should definitely be checking out. And of course, these are going to be amigurumi patterns because if you guys know me at all, you know that I pretty much only crochet amigurumi slash crochet plushies, whatever you want to call it. So that is what today's video is going to be. I will have all of the crochet patterns that I am mentioning in today's video linked in the description box below in the order that I'm talking about them. So that way it's super easy for you guys to check out those crochet patterns. Now what I will say is first off, what I mean by no sew crochet patterns is patterns that all you have to do once you finish off is sew closed the plushie and that is it. The rest of it has no sewing. So even if you do have to make something like an arm or an ear or something that is separate, it's crocheted in instead of sewn on. So that is the topic of today's video. And of course, these are all free patterns like I already mentioned. So this is a good list of my favorites. All of these are patterns that I have used. With that, we're going to go ahead and get started. I will insert pictures on the screen here of the crochet patterns. And I'm going to start out with crochet patterns of my own, of course, because why wouldn't I promote some of my own patterns in a video like this? They're obviously some of my favorites anyways. So first is my mini mushroom pattern, you guys, which this is such a cute pattern. I also plan to put out a video tutorial for this pattern fairly soon, so you can keep an eye out for that as well. But this pattern looks super cute without a face, looks cute with the face. You can make it in so many different yarns. I mean, same with all these patterns. You can make them in any yarns you want, but it is super cute and a very, very quick project. I think it's probably the quickest pattern that is on this list in general. It is very quick. And of course, no sewing until you get to the end and you have to sew it closed, of course, but that's with all of these patterns. So super cute and definitely recommend this one. And again, since it's so fast, you can sell it for really cheap at markets, which is also great. Next is my two-in-one dog and bunny pattern. So if you haven't seen this pattern before, it is a really cute two-in-one. And the only difference is, is what the tail looks like and the ears are a little bit longer on the bunny and they're a little bit shorter on the dog but it is a super cute little two-in-one pattern. This pattern does take me about 30 minutes to make, but it's still not super long. And again, I think it's great because it is a two-in-one. So it's a free pattern in general, but you're also getting two-in-one instead of just one pattern. So again, super cute. And I think you guys will really enjoy this one if you haven't already checked it out. Next is my chili pepper crochet pattern, which is again, another no-sew one. And it is another one that is so quick. I mean, pretty much all no sew patterns are going to be quick unless it's like a really big item. So almost everything that I'm sharing in today's video is really quick to make, but this chili pepper is specifically one that is pretty quick and it's also a good seller. So I would definitely check this out. And next on my list is my sunflower keychains which for this, all you have to do is weave in the ends. There's not even any sewing it closed because these keychains actually don't even require any stuffing. They're technically not even like amigurumi because they're not an actual like plushy, but I did think that I would include it in today's video since of course it is free and it is no sew. So all I do for this pattern is finish off, weave in the ends and then attach it to a keychain or you can hang it from your car mirror or anything like that as well. And I do have a full video tutorial for this pattern. So if you guys want to check that out, I will link it in the description box below as well as the written pattern for you. So that is one of my favorites for sure. And that's honestly one of the only items that I will use weight for yarn for because I just think it's such a cute pattern. And if you make it in bulky yarn, it would be kind of too big, especially for a keychain size. So I will use weight four yarn for that pattern, even though I'm not a big fan of weight four yarn. Anyways, so next patterns are not my own. Actually, I don't think any other pattern that is on this list is my own, but they are super great patterns that I have made and I definitely recommend. And again, all free and no sew. 
So first is this Otter, which you guys has been a great seller for me at markets, so I definitely recommend it. It's an item that I charge $10 for, so it takes me about 30 minutes since I calculate about $20 per hour. So this is a great one, and the way that the ears are made on this is you actually tie them on the inside, which is an ingenious idea. And towards the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some honorable mentions is what I'm calling them because they aren't completely no-so, but I do make the patterns no-so by using the same ear technique that is used in this otter pattern. So I will explain it to you guys a little bit when I'm talking about the honorable mentions at the end, but just know it is the same ear technique that is used in this pattern. And this pattern is where I learned that technique from. So definitely recommend checking out this pattern. It's a great one. And again, super fast and cute. All right, next is this mushroom, which this is the chunky mushroom. I sell these for $15 at markets and they sell super well. So it takes me about 45 minutes to make and you can do these in so many different colors. They're cute in all colors and it is no so, even though it might not look no so, it is because it's worked into the back loops of the like hat portion of the mushroom and the little like brim portion of the hat is from the way it's worked. So it is a no sew pattern and it is super, super cute. So this is definitely a great one and I know a ton of people always say that this pattern sells well for them at markets and sells well for them in general, whether they sell at markets or online. So this is definitely a great one to check out. Next you guys is this jellyfish, which this pattern is so, so cute. Again, another free one. I've made quite a few jellyfish in my time of crocheting and this is the only jellyfish pattern that I've found that is actually quick, at least for like a decent sized jellyfish. Now, if you wanted to make like a mini one, then of course that'd be kind of quick, but this is like an actual decent sized jellyfish. I'd say it's about like that big when I've made the pattern and that's with just chenille yarn. So it's not like a super chunky yarn or anything and it's still like a decent size. So the fact that this is no so is great and in general I think it is a really cute pattern. So again definitely a great one to check out. Next we have this axolotl and I said that I crocheted everything on this list but this is the one pattern that I actually haven't but I have read through this pattern and I know I'm going to love it so that's why I'm sharing it in today's video anyways even though I haven't crocheted it yet and it is going to be on my hook very soon I'm hoping because this is so, so cute. I have made axolotls in the past that are very similar to this pattern, but the little gills on the side and on the tail were not no-so. So I'm very excited for the technique used in this pattern to make the gills no-so. I am definitely going to be making quite a few of these when it is back to my market season in September. Now, next you guys is this gummy bear pattern which is so, so cute. I make it in just chenille yarn for my keychains, as well as I make it in Sweet Snuggles Light just for regular gummy bears. So they turn out super cute whether you crochet them with thinner yarn or thicker yarn. And in general, it is a super cute pattern. This is also a great one because it doesn't even require safety eyes. So that is also a plus. I like to crochet these kind of in the car too, because again, no safety eyes is great. So again, definitely recommend this one, but of course that's what this whole video is about. Now next is this Octo pattern from All From Jade. Now I will tell you guys I have my own Octo pattern that I use majority of the time that is on my Etsy, so it's not free, but it is no so, but it's not free. But I will say for my claw machine, as well as for my keychains, I use this pattern from All From Jade because it is quite a bit smaller than my Octo pattern so it works a lot better for the keychains and the claw machine. So still a great pattern, still no so, still free, so definitely check this one out. Again, super great. Now next we have this crochet pickle, which again is so cute. There are so many pickle patterns out there, so honestly majority of them are no so and super cute, but this is the one specifically that I've made in the past and it is very cute, so I highly recommend this pattern as well. Next is this snake, which I have made at least like four times, I think, and sold every snake. So seriously, it is such a cute pattern. It also comes with a big version of a snake and a small version of a snake, both for free. So I've made the big snake so far quite a few times, and I haven't made the small one yet, but I definitely will be soon because my market that is coming up in November is actually a wildlife 
themed event. So there will be actual like snakes and reptiles and birds and stuff at that event. So of course I want to have a bunch of crocheted snakes to sell there. So I'll definitely be making the small version of the pattern and the big version. And it is so cute with like every single variegated yarn for burnout blanket that I use. It is so cute. So definitely a great one as well. And it's one of those things that you can kind of crochet mindlessly. Like I literally take the stitch marker out and I just keep crocheting. Now I will advise you the first time I ever made a snake, I did not stuff as I went and that was an absolute nightmare. So definitely know that you have to stuff it as you go or else it'll be impossible to stuff it at the end. But it is a super mindless project other than the fact that you have to stop to stuff it as you go. So definitely recommend this pattern though. Again, it's free. So it's a really good one. All right, now final pattern that isn't included in my like honorable mentions section is this cookies and milk. I made this only one time, but I absolutely loved it. So I definitely plan on making it again. And it is so, so cute, you guys. I also wanna do other variations of like maybe a strawberry milk carton and a sugar cookie or something like that instead of a regular chocolate chip cookie. I think that could be so cute. But either way, this is the pattern and it is so cute for the little duo. And they are both so quick. They both only took me about 30 minutes each. So I was able to charge only $20 for the cookies and milk duo, which I think is a great deal. So definitely a great pattern to check out. And again, free and no so. All right, now the final three patterns are in my like honorable mentions section because they are not fully no sew, but I am going to explain to you how I make them no sew patterns. So first is this bear, which again, like I explained during the otter when I was talking about that, I use the same technique that is included in that otter pattern to make the ears no sew. So I make the ears first, and then when I'm about halfway through the body, I will go ahead and attach the ears and tie them on the inside really tight instead of sewing them in, and then you have no sew ears. So it is completely no sew when you do it that way. So I have it in my honorable mentions section because the pattern isn't written to be no sew, but like I said, I do make it no sew in that way. So. It's a great pattern in general, and it's only the two ears you have to sew on anyway, so it's not that much sewing, whether you wanna make it no sew or not. So still a great pattern. Now next is this opossum, which again is kind of along the same lines. I use the same exact ear technique that again is written in otter pattern and I use for the bear pattern. And I also use my own technique for the tail. So this is a little bit different. The tail on this pattern is also not no sew. It's a separate piece that you're supposed to sew on, but I will specifically do a technique that is called surface crochet, or at least I believe it's called surface crocheting. If it isn't, I'll like put it on the screen what it's actually called and I can link a tutorial for you guys as well if you wanna know like more in depth how to do that. But it's really simple. All I do is insert my hook where I want the tail to be and then I start the chain from there and do the single crochets, then slip stitch back into the body where I want the tail to be, finish off, tuck in those ends, and it's super easy. So that's another great technique for making patterns no so is doing surface crocheting for things like tails and like gills on axolotls and all of that kind of stuff. So that is the way that I make this possum slash opossum, whatever you want to call it pattern no so. All right, and final one that is in my honorable mentions is this triceratops. So the horns on this triceratops are supposed to be sewn in, but the way I make this pattern is the same way that I do the ears, again, on the otter, on the opossum, and on the bear, is I make the horns first, and when I'm about halfway through the body of the triceratops, I will go ahead and put those horns where I want them to be and tie the ends on the inside instead of going ahead and sewing them on. And then that way it makes it a no sew pattern. So that is all you guys for my list of crochet patterns that you should be trying out that are of course free and no sew. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below 
what you thought of today's video. If you would like to see videos like this in the future, I can definitely do more for no sew patterns. I have a lot of no sew patterns that I use that aren't free, so they didn't make it in today's video because they aren't free, but I could definitely do that as a separate video if you wanted, just my favorite no sew patterns in general or I could do a separate video of my favorite free patterns in general because there's also a lot of free patterns that I use that aren't no sew, so they also didn't make it in today's video. So in general, there's a lot of variations to this type of video that I could do, so definitely let me know in the comments down below if you guys wanna see those. Now, if you guys did enjoy today's video and you wanna make sure you don't miss out on those future videos as well as all of my other videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time I upload a brand new video. Liking, subscribing, and commenting on my videos really does help out my channel, so thank you in advance if you do any of those things. Now, if you guys do want to see more from me, you can always check out more videos of mine, my blog, my Etsy shop, my Ribbler shop, all of my social medias, my second channel. All of that is always included in the description box of every single video for you guys. As well as for today, of course, you can find all of these crochet patterns that I mentioned. Links in the description box below in the order that I discussed all of the patterns. So with all of that, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys here in the next one. Goodbye!